I've had a Kindle Paperwhite for quite some time now, and I wanted to explain why I prefer it over a tablet for reading. The biggest advantage to the Kindle Paperwhite over other options is that it's meant specifically for reading and not much else. It does one thing and it does it exceptionally well. With a tablet, you're likely to venture off into something else pretty quickly. You might play a game, YouTube, you name it. My favorite feature when it comes to the Kindle Paperwhite is the e-ink display. It feels a lot like reading from a paper page. This really helps reduce eye strain, which was common when trying to read a book on a tablet, at least for me. The resolution on the Paperwhite is great at 212 ppi, but recently the newest Paperwhite is coming in at 300 ppi. Now is there a big difference between those two numbers? Hmm, somewhat. I mean if you really get down close you'll be able to tell. The Kindle Paperwhite is also incredibly light. I mean it weighs almost nothing. And its form factor is perfect for reading with one hand. Sometimes when you're turning pages, you get some ghosting. By enabling page refresh, the Kindle will refresh with every page turn. And what that does is ultimately give you crisper text. If you don't like the black flash that happens with every refresh, what you can do is disable page refresh, then you'll only get the refresh every sixth page turn. Another great advantage is being able to read in natural light. The screen looks great in bright settings, where other options would naturally be almost illegible due to reflections. If you're in a dark setting, the built-in lighting is subtle and perfect for reading. It doesn't feel harsh like it does on other devices. The great thing about this subtle lighting is that the light isn't annoying or irritating. It's definitely something that you can read while in bed, and the lighting won't affect your partner's ability to sleep. Once your eyes adjust to the dark, you can turn it down really low, and it's actually really comfortable. I love playing chess this way. Battery life is ridiculously long. I can charge it once, and it can last for up to a month, sometimes even more depending on usage. The Kindle definitely has plenty of space, more than enough to be able to store almost my entire collection of eBooks. One little hidden gem, is that you can actually play some games on the Kindle Paperwhite. Things like Blackjack or Chess. The only downside is that it's only available with some of the older Kindle Paperwhites. One of my favorite features is Vocabulary Builder. Now this nifty feature allows you to go back and see words that you looked up using the dictionary. And not only does it save them for you, but you can use this really neat flashcard system to master them. Another great feature is the ability to highlight things. Now, if you highlight something on the Kindle, it'll actually automatically sync with your Amazon account. And later on, you can go and see the content that you highlighted. This is really great because sometimes when you're reading a book, you come across a really great phrase or a really great section of the book, and you wanna go back where you wanna save that section of the book. And this feature makes it really easy. I love the fact that there's a huge library of ebooks already available for the Kindle Paperwhite. You can actually check out ebooks at your local public library. Now, I know in San Francisco they have a relatively large collection that you can use your library card number and PIN to download. You don't always have to buy books. There are resources like Project Gutenberg, or you can take other ebooks that you may already have and simply convert them using software like Calibra, which I might add is great management software for the Kindle Paperwhite. I know that it keeps getting better, you get more storage, higher resolution, even longer battery life. I'm not saying that you didn't need these before, but it was already great. I definitely feel that if you actually like reading books, that the Kindle Paperwhite is your best option. And the only thing better than that, I'd say, is an actual book. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.